Hello? Hello, good evening. Yes, my friend. We hear you. Hello, yeah. My name is Mr. Jana Degua. All right, how I can help you? Ah, you know me now. Why you ask me that question? Sorry? Help me as well. So, don't you remember me? No, I do not know you. Who are you? I don't think we are unable to finish our discussion. Uh, I don't say again what I said last week was connected to you. Oh, uh, you are are you are you the one who called himself Ustaz? By your first talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. How are you, Ustaz? How are you doing? Why did you block my boy today? I, I today blocked it? what? Latif. Hello? You blocked Latif Hassan. Because he's a kid. He said he don't accept the hadith. Do you accept the hadith or not? No. I told you that day. I ask you, I'm asking you, don't change the topic, don't shut up. You're asking me why you block this guy. This guy, he play game. He claimed yes, first, he claimed first, he claimed first that he don't accept hadith. Do you agree that a Muslim can be a Muslim without accepting hadith? Yes or no? I just, I will do the accepted. It has not contradict the Quran. No, my friend, he did not say that. He said he don't accept the hadith. Anyone, he don't said, he said, I don't accept the hadith. He didn't tell you that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you. Okay. Let me ask you. As long it does not contradict the Quran, I will go with you. Your prophet, he said, the sun set in the murky water. Do you agree with that hadith? Is that what? Your prophet, he said, the sun set in the murky water. Can you show me the trace in the Quran? Show you the verse in the Quran. The trace is of the Quran here. All right. No problem. <clears throat> Do you see my screen with me? No, 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 no. Okay, no. chapter 18, verse number 86. Read I'm, it for us. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Facebook. All right, chapter eight, chapter 18, you. chapter 18, verse number 86. <coughs> chapter 18. Yes. Verse number what? Hmm? Verse number what? 86. Don't always run away from this. Sorry? Hello. Yeah. Why do you always run away from the Bible? Don't change the topic. Let's, let's finish what we are talking about. Read the verse. I said, why do you always run away from quoting the Bible? My friend, nobody is running are away. You, you are the one is running away from the quoting the Quran right now. You are the one is running away from quoting the Quran. You ask me, you ask me where it says the sun set in the murky water. I gave you the verse, and now you are running away, changing the topic. It is you who is running away. away. Read the verse I, for me. I will, I will read the verse soon. Okay, go ahead. And I'm not asking you a Nobody question. is running away, and I will show. I will get you busted. You can you can quote for me from the Bible as much as you want. You can quote from the Bible as much as you want. Read the verse for me. Read the verse for me. We are waiting for you, my friend. Go ahead. Now, let me take it from verse eighty-three. Okay. So you give me time sure, to explain myself. We are reading. Go ahead, ahead. Go ahead. Now, the Quran said from Allah, not Muhammad said, Quran said, they ask you concerning your name. Hmm. They will ask you Muhammad. Allah said Muhammad that they will ask you about the Quran. Hmm. Say, tell them, I will ask you something of his story. Tell them that God will tell me about Zulkarnain. Okay, who is Zulkarnain? Who is Zulkarnain? And the means My friend, do you, do you hear me? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Who, who is Zulkarnain? Who is who is this guy? Who is this, who is this guy? Before you continue, before you continue. I'm, I'm letting you read in. I'm letting you read in. It's okay. It's okay. We can stop for a second. Let me who is this guy first? Who is Zulkarnain? Let me finish. Who is Zulkarnain? Who is Zulkarnain? If you don't mind. So you do not know who is Zulkarnain. Is that the answer? You, do you know who is Zulkarnain or you do not know? Let me read to the end. Okay. But you promise me you will tell me who is Zulkarnain, right? I said, please. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now. 
Now said, surely we established his power hmm. on earth. Okay. And we gave him the ways, hmm. means to all things. Hmm. It is right. So what are you asking me? And my, my, my friend, you are very funny. I asked you why your God, he yes. said. I asked you where your God said the, the, the water sit in the murky water. So you read the whole chapter and now you're asking me what, what I'm asking you. So I was asking you two questions now because you are the one who started in from verses. Let me tell you what I'm asking you. Don't don't cut me. You see, you asked me to let you finish. And now you said to me, what are you asking me? Let me tell you what I'm asking you. First of all, who is Zulkarnain? Number two, how your God say that the sun sit in the murky water? The mic is yours. Who is Al Qurnain and how the sun sits in the murky water? Go ahead. One is a messenger of God. Who is he? Who is he? The one day, a messenger of God. Who is he? Who is he? Where he was? What? What is his language? What is his location? What his name? Who is he? I don't. I don't know his location. Okay. Do you know what Al Qurnain? Do you know what Al Qurnain mean? Do you know what Al Qurnain mean? Name. Yeah, what Al Quran mean? Show me the Quran, the meaning. I'm asking you. You are the scholar. You call yourself Ustaz. So let us say no, I am a I am a person. I am a person from Nigeria. I'm a person from Nigeria, and you are the Ustaz. So if you one of your students call you Mr. Ustaz, which means you claim to be a teacher, who is Al Quran and what Al Quran mean? What you will say to him? I've called you Dr. Kornain is a messenger of God. Who is he? Who is he? We got he is a messenger of God. He, he in which nation, what language, what his name? Zul Kornain. Do you know what Zul Kornain mean? Mean of what? What what Zul Kornain mean in the mean in Arabic? What Zul Kornain mean? I don't know. You do not know, so you call yourself Ustaz Zul Kornain mean the guy with the two horns. Let me teach you the one you call yourself Ustaz, which means you call yourself teacher and master. Zul Kornain, Zul... let me answer you. Let me answer you, Nigerian boy. Boy, boy, you are no Ustaz, you know nothing. You just said I do not know. So let me teach you. Zul Kornain in Arabic, shut up. Let me answer you. Zul Kornain, shut up. Let me talk. You do not know. You just said you do not know. Zul Kornain, Zul Kornain means. Zul, let me talk, man. You don't act like a kid. You said you do not know. I know. Zul Kornain means the guy with the two horn. Why he was called the guy with the two horn? Do you know? Where is it in the Quran? It's in here in front of you. Zul Kornain. This is what Kornain means. The guy with the two horn. Where in the Quran written that the meaning? It's in the front of you, you idiot. This is what the word mean in Arabic. Zul <laughs> This is what Al Qurnain mean. This is what Al Qurnain mean. I said, where in the Quran you find the meaning? Of my the friend, Quran? my friend, this is the this is the Arabic word. The Qurnain mean two horn. Are you stupid or what? In Arabic, the word yeah. Qur'an, don't tell me what is the meaning. This is what it says, the Qur'an says. The Qur'an says, the guy with the two horns. This is not a name, you idiot. You see, you claim to be you claim to be a teacher, but you are a certified liar. Al-Qur'an in Arabic. Okay, let me show you. If I show you... <laughs> what Al-Qur'an mean? I'm asking you, you claim to be a teacher. What Al-Qur'an mean? From the Arab word, yeah, and what the word mean? Is an Arab man? And what the word mean? Mean two horn, correct? Is it an Arab man? Yes. How do you define? Otherwise, yeah, hold on. Arabic. It is an Arabic word. I don't care what it's an Arab. Is an Arab man or not? The word is Zulkarnain. Mean the guy with the two horn. Yes or no? Abdul, Abdul, listen, Abdul. I'm asking you now. I'm, I'm asking you. Shut up, you coward. Why? Why? Why Allah call him the guy with the two horn? Do you have an answer? I said you are a liar. Tukonid was not an Arab, Arab man. I am not saying he's an Arab. This, this is Alexander the Great, you idiot. This is Alexander the Great, you donkey. This is Alexander the Great. This is not an Arab. I am not saying he's an Arab. I am saying the Quran is an Arabic word. Stop, donkey. Listen, listen, donkey. Ustaz, Ustaz, donkey. Listen, the Quran. Okay, let me get you busted. Let me get you busted. What interpretation do you like me to read for you? What? Who? I said. Is Zulkarnain an Arab man? No, this is Alexander the Great. 
I said in Arabic the word Qurnain mean the guy Dhul Qurnain mean the guy with the two horn. I, I am a liar. Okay, I explain you which interpretation you like me to read for you. What interpretation you like me to read for you? is not an Arab word. I I ask you what is the interpretation you like me to read for you? I'm asking. Abdul, what's wrong with you? Why you are why you are scared? What interpretation you like me? What inter what interpretation you like me to read for you? Stop stop playing games. Hello, 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 hello. You don't even know what I'm talking about. I ask a question. Is who can mean an Arab man? He said no. You are not given Arab meaning. So what's going on? Abdul, is the Quran in Arabic or it's in the Greek? Is that what is the is the Quran written in Arabic or written in Greek? It's Arabic. Okay, is the Quran is the Quran a name? Is the Quran is a name or description? Is the Quran shut up? Is the Quran shut up? Is the Quran a name or description? Shut up. Let me talk now. The Quran is as look at Abraham. Don't change the topic, Abdul. Don't change the topic. Is the Quran a name? Is the Quran a name or description? Is the Quran is the Quran a name or description? The Quran was not an Arab man, and you know it. The name was coined from its original name to Arab man. So if you are the original name of the Quran, okay, hold on, hold on. I want to ask you. You claim you claim to be Ustaz. What is the reference of what you are saying? That Zul Qurnain is the name of the guy. Thank you. I don't. I said Zul Qurnain was coined from his original name, unlike Abraham. Abdul, Abdul, when you mention something to me, you, when you mention something to me, I, I would like you to give me a reference. Where is the reference of what you just said? Can you give me a reference? Thank you. Thank you. In the, in the Bible, or in the book of Moses, Abraham was a prophet of God. So, being of Abraham, we know to the Hebrews. Ibrahim is the coined one in Arab world. Abraham was never an Arab man. Abdul, Moses are you stupid or what? Why you are changing the topic? What Abraham have to do with our Quran? Stop being a liar. Let me get you busted. Let me get you busted. This is Tafsir at Tabari. Everybody will laugh at you. Call me. You, you call me. You're asking your destiny to be destroyed. Here we go. This is shut up. Shut up, you idiot. This is Tafsir at Tabari. Zul Quran is a guy who is a guy with the two horn. Shut up. Shut up, potato. If you if you want to talk to me, if you want to talk to me, you should let me talk. If you will not let me talk, we cannot talk. Do you agree? Do you agree to let me talk or not? Do you agree to let me talk or not? This is Tafsir at Tabari. This is Tafsir at Tabari is going to show everybody that you are a certified donkey. Read it for me. I challenge you. I gave you the link. I gave you the link. It's in your sky. Open it and read it. You do not know Arabic, you are a liar. And this is At-Tabari saying that Zul was given that was was given that description because they beat him twice in his head. Read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. You coward. Why you don't read it? Okay, read it for us. Read At-Tabari. No, read At-Tabari for me. Do you know how to read Arabic? Do you know how to read Arabic? Do you know how to read Arabic? Do you know I, how to read Arabic? I, I, I'm on Facebook Live. I don't care. Do you know how to read Arabic? Read it. So that's why I said I can't see what you're reading. Read the Tafsir at Tabari for the verse. Read Tafsir at Tabari. This is no, Tafsir at Tafsir at Tabari. I don't allow Tafsir. Tafsir is the perception of the writer. Oh, so, so Tafsir, okay, okay, let us make it clear. So you agree that the Muslim Tafsir, all of it agree with me, and you are the only one have his own Tafsir. And because that is the only, you know, bad day. So let me ask you, let me ask you, if there is one Tafsir agree with your donkey, is there is one Tafsir in the world agree with you, Mr. Donkey Ustaz? You are, you are a fool. If there, is, if there is one tafsir agree with you, are you saying to me that all Muslim scholars agree with me, but not even one scholar agree with you? I'm <laughs> speaking it as an understanding. 
I want you, you, you claim to be a stars. When, when somebody says he's a stars, you have to give reference. Okay, where you are giving me your, 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 your interpretation? Are you giving me your own interpretation? Obviously, yes. Your scholars, they say that this guy he was called the man with the two horn because they hit him in his head first time he invited them to Easter. And he got the pimple in his head. It's called a horn. You told me about it. Let me ask you a question. Because you don't have to show up. Idiots. Okay, Abdul. So the interpretation, the interpretation agree with me, Abdul. Listen, Abdul, potato, potato, stop, stop. Get lost, donkey. Let your mama call me. And you say to me, Why are you black? Then here we go. I will black you too. You don't let me talk, you don't change the topic. You are a coward, you are a potato, you do not know how to speak Arabic, and you don't agree with your scholars. And now you claim that you have your own interpretation and you claim that Zulqarnayn is a name and not even a single Muslim in the world agree with that. Zulqarnayn, this is what Arabic mean, the man with the two horn. You are a certified donkey trying to fool, scam the Nigerian people. We talk about Zulqarnayn, we start talking about Abraham. We talk about the sun sitting in murky water, he start talking about Jesus. Potato, potato. So you say to me, why you block that idiot? He, he's idiot like you, liar like you. He said he don't accept the hadith. Not hadith contradict the Quran. And by the way, all the hadith contradict the Quran because the Quran contradict itself. However, if we show you a hadith not contradicting the Quran, you don't accept it. If we show you a hadith contradict the Quran, still you accept it as an example, muta. The Quran says you do muta. The Hadith says don't do muta. You say to us you don't accept the Hadith, contradict the Quran. There is tons of rules are abrogated in Islam. It is in the Hadith, not in the Quran, which means this is a contradiction for the Quran. Stupidity. Now, if we go back, where he refused to read for us. And you see, he asked me to read 10 verses before and 10 verses after, but he did not answer the question. How Zulqarnayn, the guy with the two horn, found the sun sitting in murky water? When I say something, I show reference, I put it in the screen, everybody read with me. I say Zulqarnayn is a guy who got hit in his head first time, and he, kill, he was killed, and he got the first horn. And then... He came to invite his people again to Islam. They hit him again in his head. And he got the second horn. Zulqarnayn, as a word in Arabic, means the guy with the two horns. It's not a name, you eat the donkey. This is Tafsir al-Tabari. It says the following. جئتم تسألوني عن ذي القرنين وما تجدونه في كتبكم كان شاب من الروم فجاء فبنى مدينة مصر مدينة مصر الإسكندرية You are coming to me to ask me about the guy with the two horn and what is in your books He was a young man from the Roman and he came and he built a city in Egypt it's called Alexandria when we say something like this, we, we, we prove it. We don't make things up. You claim to be an ustaz. Ustaz means master, teacher. Shame on you, self-claim. You do not know Arabic. You don't speak Arabic. You cannot read uh, your own books. And you claim knowledge. We ask you a simple question. Who is Al-Qurnayn? You do not know. You do not know. If I call this guy again, do you think, guys, he will give us the answer or he will shout a scream non-stop? He will shout scream. They will never answer because he knew he had no knowledge. Let us laugh.
did you hear the interpretation I was reading for you? Is that it? Why did you block me initially? Did you read the interpretation I was reading for you, Abdul? Why did you block me? Are you there? Are you there? Why did you block me? Why did you block me? No, you you are not allowing me to read. I have to stop you so I can read for you. I was reading for you. So did you did you did you see my reading? I don't even see it. Okay, now I want you to read for me the interpretation I gave you, please. Which one? I, I gave it to you in Skype. Get, open the link and read it, please. I don't have, I don't have it here. I'm you not with my phone. You don't have Arabic in your phone, so do you know Arabic? I don't have my phone with me. Okay, I'm asking you. Do, do you I'm asking you. Do, do you know Arabic? Do you know my friend? I'm asking you. Do you know Arabic? He hang up. <laughs> He don't know Arabic. He is teaching Islam and he claimed that he is a master in Islam, but he do not know Arabic. Let me call him again. <laughs> he's, he's, he's hanging up on me. <laughs> the second I said to him, do you know Arabic? He insists to know Arabic. He hang up because he, this is very embarrassing. His guy, he is making himself equal to Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik do not know Arabic. Didad do not know Arabic. And this donkey do not know Arabic. And yet they claim to be scholars. How in the world you claim to be a scholar, but you do not know Arabic? How you can read your books? And you see now I am calling him. He is hanging up the coward. Very embarrassing. See, he's hanging up. <laughs> my name is Ustaz. Ustaz, my, uh, as they say, what a potato. What a coward. What's the Kurnain mean? Is the Kurnain al Arab? No, he's not. He's Alexander the Great, you idiot. And how your God, he made Alexander the Great, who is a bisexual, a prophet of God. Alexander the Great is a bisexual. Allah, he chose a bisexual to be a prophet of Allah. And he found the sun set in the murky water. Isn't this is amazing? <laughs> 